the new year and it's time to get some planning done for the first half of January. We're going to be doing the snow and ice theme along with polar animals. There's really no shortage of activities and things to find to do within this theme. I had a hard time deciding what to do and weeding it out and just trying to get the best of what we can fit into two weeks without getting too much. I loved having my winter guides from teaching two and three year olds. These were awesome. I was able to pull a lot of good ideas from here. Within these two curriculum guides, there are so many activities and I highly recommend getting both the toddler and the preschool guides, especially if you have a mixed age group because they're all different activities and lots of fun things to do that meet the children at every level. I've made some beautiful images here of some polar animals, some penguins and polar bears, arctic fox, a walrus, an arctic hare, as well as a beluga well. So not everybody's lucky enough to get snow. We barely got any, just a little skiff, and that's all gone now. So I got this Snow Wonder Instant Snow. This little package makes up to two gallons of play snow. So we can make that up, and I thought that'd be fun to use with these bug tongs, along with these little penguin figurines and some eggs. For the Play-Doh, we're going to have some white Play-Doh, and that's so that they can make some little snowmen, and we have some buttons here, and I have some circle cup toppers that I think will make really good cutters for the play-doh to make some snowmen. In the dramatic play we're going to be doing a hot cocoa stand. This is a freebie. It's a printable packet on teaching two and three year olds. It's really cute. This is gonna go nice over on the wall and we'll set it up with some stuff for the kids to play hot cocoa stand. That also came with some other printables so I'll put that link below. Make sure to go check that out. Some of the books we'll be reading is A Snowy Day, The Mitten, the three snow bears, little penguin, the biggest snowman ever, the emperor's egg, and the three little kittens. So a lot of good books for us to get out onto our shelf. And those are going to be really nice to be reading and looking at through all the winter months. And then at circle time, we have some of these song cards that came with the curriculum guides. And there are these cute little snowman props that are in the winter prop packet. These are the five little snowman jumping on the bed. So I'll make that up. And then we can also have these little snowman on. On the sticks for the children to hold so that they just love having something to hold at circle time. And then I thought that these mittens would be nice because I found a song called What Color Are Your Mittens? And so when we sing that song, the children can hold up the color of mitten that they have. We're spending lots of time indoors, so it's really nice to have a lot more movement activities and just maybe even do a couple movement times a day, especially if you're in more often than usual. This is a cute little book, Colors in the Snow. It's about a snowman who is plain to begin with and then you add his different colored items on. And this is a freebie printable. You can use this with your circle time or your story time. As you read the book, you can add the parts onto the snowman. So you've got one snowman that's completely dressed and then there's also a snowman that is plain and then he's the one that you can add the parts on. You could put some Velcro dots on those and have these laminated and ready to go for story Props, and then also children could play with this during their free time if you wanted to leave one out for them. I also went ahead and I printed a few of these plain snowmans out, one for each of the children. I thought they might have fun just gluing on their snowman pieces for themselves. You could even let them color on the snowman, maybe put some other stickers on, or even some collaging before you decorate him with some white tissue paper would be nice as well. So depending on how elaborate you want to make that, it would work out really good and a nice easy activity that goes along with that book. I was thinking it'd be really nice to do a little bit of name writing and recognition. So I made these name tags and what I'll do is I'll have each child pick out a name tag. I'll write their name on it with a highlighter showing them how I write that very slowly and nicely and then laminate their name card and leave that in the writing area for them to trace with a dry erase marker as they please. Some children if they're not quite tracing the letters they might just scribble on them but still good for them to work with and get familiar with their name. These little circles they came in for a snowman counting activity with that curriculum guide and I'm going to use these as a name activity. I'll write the letters of the children's names and then I'm going to go over that with a little bit of glitter glue so that they can trace that with their finger and feel that raised. Might even put some little accessories in this bag and then they can build a snowman with their letters of their names on it and they can play with those every day until they take those home and it's just a great way to work on their name. I love these little mini books. Maybe just 
just do this one day as a group activity. And then I also have these pre-writing cards that I'll have laminated and put in there with a dry erase marker. And then a whole bunch of just really cute printables that go along with our hot cocoa theme and winter theme and everything that we're going to be doing. Some of these came with that hot cocoa packet and then other ones are just a free download. I'll make sure that I include those links. And then also I have a whole bunch of cute dot pages that are left over from that really nice big winter dot packet. It's going to give us something different to do every single day and also just a mitten. They can color as they please. I found these small books. I think this is something I'm going to start adding monthly. They're just little blank notebooks. Each child will have one. We'll put their name on it and this is something they can put the stickers in. They can do some coloring in those writings and just have a nice little book that stays in the writing center that they can work on until they want to take that home. For some letter recognition, I thought that these would be kind of fun to have. I'm going to cut all of these out and then put them inside of this drawstring bag and then the children can just pull those snowballs out and then we can identify and discuss the letters as they come out. Those cute snowballs came with the curriculum guide. I have a couple different templates here for these mittens. We're going to put into a plastic bag and squeeze two different colors of paint for some color mixing. The children will roll these balls over the template and make designs on their mitten. I glued together some some of these jumbo sticks. I found these at Walmart and then we're going to paint these with white puffy paint. You make that by mixing the white tempera paint with some shaving cream and when they're dry if they like they can embellish them with some of these little gems. I have some winter stamps. This would be fun to just set up a stamping tray. That we could also stamp those in paint. Found this little dish at the dollar store. I think I'm going to fill this with water and see if I can freeze a few of these snowflakes so that we can paint watercolor on those. If if it's cold enough you could keep these outside and that could be a repetitive outdoor activity that you have or just do those inside on a tray. These Chanel stems we're going to do a little bit of math and fine motor with these and make some beaded snowflakes. So next I have these little wooden caribou. We'll paint those probably turn them into a magnet. And then for this one, I found these foam cuts kind of earlier on at the dollar store. I thought we'd do some collaging with this. I have some glitter glue here and they can collage with these little pom-poms on there and decorate them the way that they please. If you don't have those foam cutouts, just making a little cutout template would be really easy to do and a nice way to make a collage as well. Using this same snowflake template that actually came in the gingerbread packet for this activity, Activity, have the children kind of squeeze some glue on there and trace around the lines as much as they can and inside. Then you'll allow them to sprinkle on some salt and you can help them to get the excess off. And then once those are dry, you'll squeeze some liquid watercolor and they can squeeze that onto their snowflake and see what that does with the salt. This is just a paint resist snowflake. So I've made a snowflake on here using painter's tape and that's on cardstock. And the children will simply paint over this with some watercolor when that's dry we can peel it off and that will reveal the snowflake underneath their watercolor. And then the last day we're going to be making some hot cocoa of course and I found this printable might be nice to do a little math activity with that first so they can count out their marshmallows onto this paper and then when they're done they can go ahead and pour themselves some warm water, mix in some hot cocoa and have a nice little cup of hot cocoa. I kind of re- purposed these number cards that came in the curriculum guide nice and bold and I cut those out and I'm going to pair them with these foam craft balls that I just found at the dollar store. So on a rug we can do this as a group activity. So just basically counting snowballs and lining them up to the numbers. Probably some games that we can play with that as well. With these little mittens there's a whole variety of them here. There's some color matching, some shape matching, and letters. For the matching ones I will cut these out and the children will just pair pair them up, match the colors, and clip them together. So you could either just have them clipped and put them back in a basket, or else you could even go as far as having them clip them onto a line. I'm going to use one of these little shelf tray things that go in the cabinet to create more space. They have the perfect little lines just to clip those on. It's like a mini clothesline. And for the letters, that will just basically be for letter recognition, just exposure and having fun pinning those lettered mittens up onto the clothesline. As far as some tray activities or table activities, we have some of these nice mitten color matching 
cards and these I will cut out and laminate and then also I love these snowman shape matching cards so they'll just simply match the shape to the snowman. You could even put a little velcro dot on that snowman if you wanted that shape to stick on there. And then we have these arctic animal matching cards and these are just a freebie and those will be really nice. We can play matching games with those. And then for these cute little arctic counting cards we'll just use this for some basic number counting. I hope this helps and I hope this gives everybody some good ideas and some inspiration of some things to do this month of January. Stay tuned because I will be making a video of the children playing with these materials so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.